Good morning, everyone. Thank you so very much for joining me this morning. Yes, this is Minister Kim. I am here this morning to praise the Lord with you and give you some encouragement and read some good word to you this morning. So before I do this, I just want to have a small prayer with you and ask the Lord to intercede and come into our prayer so that we may be blessed in his word. Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you in prayer on this morning. We ask that you please forgive us for any and all unrighteousness that we may have done or said in your name. We ask that you please bless all the people we don't know, all the people we do know, and all the people yet to meet. We thank you for everything you're doing for us, everything you have done for us, and everything you're going to do. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Here this morning we will be reading in your hearing we're going to be coming from uh, Romans, and we're going to be reading from Romans, the fourth chapter. I'm going to start at the fourth chapter, and I'll read until uh, I decide to stop. But we will be starting at the first verse of Romans. Now, the topic is going to I'm going to use today is called the example of Abraham. So we're going to read a little bit about Abraham today. And it says, starting at uh, verse 1, Well then, what can we say about our ancestor Abraham? If he became acceptable to God because of what he did, then he would have something to brag about. But he would never be able to brag about it to God. The scripture says, God accepted Abraham because Abraham had faith in him, faith in God. Money pay to workers isn't a gift. I will say it again. Money paid to workers isn't a gift. It is something they earn by working. But you cannot make God accept you because of something you do. I will say that again. You cannot make God accept you by something you do. God accepts sinners only because they have faith in him. I will say that. God accepts sinners only because they have faith in him. In the scriptures, David talks about the blessings that come to people who are acceptable to God, even through though they don't do anything to deserve these blessings. David says, God bless people whose sins are forgiven and whose evil deeds are forgotten. The Lord blesses people whose sins are erased from his book of life. Are these blessings meant for circumcised people or for those who are not circumcised? Well, the scripture says that God accepted Abraham because Abraham had faith in him. But when did this happen? Was it before or after Abraham was circumcised? Of course, it was before. Abraham let himself become circumcised to show that he had been accepted because of his faith even before he was circumcised. This makes Abraham the father of all who are accepta acceptable to God because of their faith, even though they are not circumcised. 
This is also makes Abraham the father of everyone who is circumcised as faith in God, as Abraham did before he was circumcised. So, what it's saying is that Abraham had faith in the Lord God, the Father in heaven, before he was circumcised. That is what it's saying. And he circumcised himself after he ex God accepted his faith as a believer. He did the circumcision just to show other people who believed in circumcision, that it didn't matter whether it was circumcised or uncircumcised. Your faith is what gets you into the kingdom of heaven. Let's go on. And it says, the promises is for all who have faith. God promised Abraham and his descendants that he would give them the world. This promise wasn't made because Abraham obeyed a law, but because his faith in God made him acceptable. Abraham and his descendants were given this promise because they had obeyed a law. Then faith would mean nothing, and the promise would be worthless. God becomes angry when his law is broken. So this is why the law, we can't, as believers today, hold it up. Because if we live by the law, then we will be judged by the law. But where there isn't a law, it cannot be broken. Everything depends on having faith in God. And this is where we are. We must have faith in God because having faith in the Lord saves us from the the bondage of the law of of uh, the judgment. Now, the faith in God, having faith in God so that God's promise is assurance by his great kindness. That's what the faith does. It gives us God's great kindness. This promise isn't only for Abraham's descendants who have the law. It is for all who are Abraham's descendants because they have faith, just as he did. Abraham is the ancestor of us all. He is our ancestor of all. The scripture says that Abraham would become the ancestor of many nations. This promise was made to Abraham because he had faith in God who raised the dead to life and created new things. God promised Abraham a lot of descendants. And when it all seems hopeless, Abraham still had faith in God and became the ancestor of many nations. Abraham's faith never became weak, not even when he was nearly a hundred years old. He knew that he was almost dead and that his wife Sarah could not have children. But Abraham never doubted or questioned God's promise. His faith made him strong and he gave all the credit to God. Abraham was certain that God could do what he had promised. So God accepted him just as we read in the scriptures. But these words were not written by only for Abraham. They were written for us. Since we 
will also be accepted because of our faith in God who raised our Lord Jesus to life. God gave Jesus to die for our sins and he raised him to life so that we would be made acceptable to God. Truly, we thank and praise the Lord for that beautiful, beautiful word today that we are acceptable to the Lord Jesus Christ through faith because we believe that the Lord Jesus died for our sins. We thank him so very much that he shed his blood on the cross for us. So if you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for your sins and he shed his blood on the cross for you, that your sins may be forgiven, all you have to do is ask the Lord into your heart, into your life, and ask him to forgive you for your sins. And he will forgive you for your sins and accept you as your child through faith. So today, I just want to thank the Lord for you. I just want to ask the Lord to lift you up wherever you are, wherever your circumstances is that is in life. Remember, it's just the circumstances. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be there forever because if you have the Lord Jesus Christ, whatever circumstance you have, you still will come out victorious through the blood of Jesus. So today... Have a wonderful day. And just know, if nobody else praying for you, I am praying for you. Minister Kim Jones Jeter over here at Just Start Over Ministries. Please like, share, and subscribe. We truly love you and care for you with the love of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And have a blessed day. Cheers. And go out fighting for the Lord. Amen.